from wherever we don't know from. It's Thomas Old and his series, Joke Shop, Episode 3. Yeah. Hello, I'm Thomas Old. These are my friends, Steve. Hi. Flynn. Hi. Squeechu. Hey. And Roger. What be happening? Anywho, let's get on with this nonsense. To welcome to 2021, the year the year that we celebrate the end of 2020. A weird dumpster fire year. <sighs> oh, man. Hey, guess what? Guess, 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 guess. Don't know? Well, I'll tell you, because this is the main plot of the show. People are celebrating without masks or gloves. We're still in coronavirus here, you ding-dongs. Dongs, you butt, or butt tacos, or idiots. So that doesn't mean you should just celebrate happy because 2020 is over. Just because a year is over, it doesn't mean that you should still celebrate. Especially because... Because... Because you think the coronavirus is over. Mm. Oh, brother. Yeah, especially the Karens. They say coronavirus isn't real. Huh, serves them right if they end up in hospitals. Or rednecks that say that coronavirus isn't fake. I'm not saying that all rednecks would say coronavirus isn't fake. Or blame them for saying that red that COVID isn't real. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Anyway, outside of coronavirus, we have a new president named Joe Biden. In this world, let's just hope Joe Joe gets impeached for my sake. I do miss Trump though. That's right. I I'm one to say that I would miss Trump. Why? Because I didn't mind 2016. It was a pretty groovy year. There it goes for 2017. And 2018. 2019 was okay for me. I, mean, I did feel like I was aging a lot then. And of course 2020. But some of, well, I would hit 20, 200 subscribers beforehand. Lose those 200 subscribers, there's going to be left with 170 or 169. It was 155. And then regain consciousness, consciousness and confidence and get back to 200. But anyway, back to Biden. All we do know is that Biden's work has vaccines and for COVID. But to be on the annual side, make sure you get tested all all the time. Because the last thing we want is coronavirus to happen again. Though, I wouldn't mind seeing a few Karens pass away or not. The world wouldn't mind if we were a few Karens less. Heck, I'm sure they'd all be happy without Car without Karens. Shots fired, America. Shots fired. Anyway, we also made it to a new part of our life. Besides Biden. Biden humor like that. And subscribers, but holidays and family matters and family sitcoms. Plus, I hear your dad Roger has something to tell us. Isn't that right, Roger? Yeah, I'm not too happy about it though. Now you can share it with all of us. No one will spill your secret, not even the online web. Thanks, but okay, okay. <clears throat> In the next few videos, I will be trying something new. That will be impress impersonations. <laughs> not really, not really. I'm going to try <clears throat> to work to make my own suits that resemble the Teletubbies. Wait, what? I just said that you were going to fire Mud Kipper out of a cannon. Yeah, what? Yeah, I was. Until I reconsidered the idea. I mean, that's not him the wow factor anymore. Firing your own friends out of cannons. 
is so yesterday. <laughs> Looking like a Teletubby is the new in. Wow, don't I feel sorry for myself. Anyone else got some surprising news? I got one. Okay, Squeechu, you. you're on. The main gang of Dish Nation. Nation. Shin. Or more or less, Gary from Dish Nation. Shin is living on very, very controversial thoughts to the fans of Dish Nation. In question that he might be homosexual. I mean, that's all I have to say for right now. Now, there's no further updates. Dates, even if Gary does act like he is gay for a few days. Hey, I wouldn't mind if he is gay or not. It at least up my day whenever I watch Dish Nation when he announces it. But then again, we might have predicted the future. Or contradicted ourselves. Wow. Some tells me the people watching this are going to have a major field day. A real major field day. Oh boy. Anywho. Who? There. Yeah, I got nothing else. Um. I have someone have a story. Go ahead, Flynn. So I've been hearing, hearing this army joke I made a lot recently. <clears throat> what is the difference between the navies and the whales? <clears throat> the navies usually travel by water or float above water, while the whales prefer to dunk. They somewhat breathe for air because blowholes. Holes and all. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I'm funny still to this very day with my army puns. Yes, you are, Flynn. Yes, you are. I got a space joke. <laughs> of all things that happened in New Mexico, was the worst alien sighting that ever happened? <laughs> Theodore Roosevelt. <laughs> uh, yeah, Theodore Roosevelt but was the worst alien that ever happened. Uh, uh, alien puns. Anyway, wait. In case you want, in case you're wondering how we spend our coronavirus times, well, lucky for us, they're always normal, or normal normal things that I always do alone. Watching reruns of of last week tonight with John Oliver. And if I get bored from watching John Oliver, let's watch my, one of my few favorite sitcoms, The Looney Tunes Show. Seriously, that's a sitcom in its own rights? Yep. Huh. All I've been doing is been dunking myself into trash bins. Don't worry, I've been wearing gloves and masks. Granted, it is hard to swim in trash. Trash when you have a mask on. And those gloves just slow you down when you're swimming in garbage. Don't worry, I do wash myself off at the end of the day. I've been watching two of my few favorite animated reality shows drawn together in the Total Drama Rum, uh, uh, the Total Drama series. Yeah, it's been a long night for me. But hey, I don't mind. I've been counting my blessings, hoping that I get to go back out to the to the AVs, to the good old war days. Man. It's nothing better than thinking and dreaming about war. Mostly, I've been planning to make the transition to make space programs. When I say space programs, try to see if I can fire, fire Steve Carroll or Carl? Yeah. Michael Scott in space. Like, just abduct, abduct him or Adam Sandler. Sandler. Anyway, any who, who I don't mind, and just send them, them all the way to Venus. Hmm. What about Justin Bieber? Nah, Justin Bieber deserves to, deserves to live. But just because of that song, oh baby, 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 oh. I mean, all he says is the word, oh baby, be on repeat. Pete, how do fans find that attracting? Eh. It's Justin Bieber. Burr. Yeah, but it's not more ridiculous than it's on Baby Shark. 
Oh, no, we opened a big can of worms, didn't we? Not really. Hey, that song sucks in its own right. But since Nickelodeon is planning to make a new series based on it, let's just hope things don't go, go downsided. And before we end today's video, yo, of Joke Shop, we have one big thing to say. Cubo might be facing foreclosure, and uh, and as fans of Cubo, we want you to to help help support Cubo. And with what the content, and enjoy seeing the shows. Just just continue to watch the series so far, and let's hope that Cubo doesn't face closure, because that would just be a depressing sight. Anyway, that's in the joke shop, but. Looks like one of us wants to do a how-to. Let's do this. Today, me and Squeak Jew will tell you tell you a good thing. Ever, are you a person who who really doesn't have a mask or doesn't have the dough to make a mask? Well, how about we tell you how to make some? We shall. Step one: get some fabric. Any type of fabric will do. It doesn't matter if it comes from your pillows, bed sheets, sheets. Any type of fabric will do, as long as you can make it into a shape of a mask. Two, or step two, find some elastic string. And no, I don't mean anything like rubber bands, but rubber bands do make a good case. Step three, make a very careful incision into the, into the fabric. And then... Put the string around, hot glue gun it, and then on all four sides, let the glue dry, dry, and bada bing, bada boom. Got your own pl your own mask. Oh, and here's something I should highly recommend. Pick a long rubber band. Band, just, just in case you really wanted to get that full protection on your face. But if you want to make sure it doesn't go too far, get a short rubber band. At least then it'll always come back to your face. Face, and won't hurt ya. And make sure you don't choose a fabric that would easily get ripped. Anyway, that's the end of our how-to. Catch you guys on the flip side. And for more how-tos at the end of the joke shop, check out more Thomas Old. We'll be here forever and ever. Bye.